Hello, it's Relic Hunter back at the South Jersey Insulator Mine. We're just going to go over, it's, we're winding up Sunday, December 11th, we're soon going to lose light. Just going to go over and show you the insulators so far. Those are the LAP 5839s. I'm going to move on to the yellow ones. Just to give you some perspective, you're looking at over 600 in the yellows. If you look in the middle, there's many variations of color. There's almost a white glass to the left of that, or yellow, some yellow yellows. To the left of those are mustard colored. And then there's different variations of tans, peach color. This is a different, a new color. Haven't seen this particular insulator in that color. That's the first one in the whole pile. And then these are by Locke and Thomas. And once again, every variation of color, a lot of them are caramel, very beautiful color. Some deep, rich red colors, almost cherry. There's some in there. And in the back you get into greens. Way in the back, there's white top ones. Mostly cherry, beautiful pieces. And in the center there's chocolate. And those are by a company called Ohio Brass, most of them. It's a O with a B inside of it is the insignia. And the way in the back is some mottled colors. They're all, all different colors mixed together. Very pretty. And we have larger chocolate ones with a white top. Just plain chocolate. Again, variations from almost black to milk chocolate. More of the Thomas and a bigger version. And the chocolate. Again, a lot of those are Ohio brass. And then some real pretty white topped ones. A little larger in size, a little higher voltage. And then more of the lap 5839s. More of the chocolate. And then here are some larger. And those are Pinko and probably Ohio Brass also. And then over here, the yellow and brown round from Pinko and Cook, and then the Kimball Clears. And I found an interesting thing that happened. There's a tree that grew through the center of the pile, and it actually had grown around several of the insulators. I happened to get a couple of them loose. But this particular one right here, I don't know if I'm going to get it out. The tree's really grown around it. And it looks like there's a couple more in there that might be the same. But here's where we're going to end up today. We brought the right side around. It was about at the vine here. And that's almost center of the pile right there. Now we just have to get over here. Take that end in. And then we can start pulling apart the center and see what's underneath there. Well that's it for today. This is Relic Hunter signing off. And remember you can contact me at the 
sjinsulatormine at gmail.com. Goodbye.